This program finds the longest common prefix in an array with multiple strings in it. Um, at the start, we'll import sys that will be used um, for later, and an array will have, in this case, a s e e a s t e s and a s d. I'll we'll try to find the longest common prefix in all these, um, in all these things. Minimum length will be equal to sys dot max size, which is basically just a maximum integer in Python. Minimum string will start as nothing, and first string in array. If we, um, this will just go through um, the array and go through every one of these ones. Um, then what we'll do if if it finds a length of a string which is smaller than min, um, minimum length, which is the maximum thing, so the first time it will of course be smaller. Um, then I'll make minimum length of that, and I'll make minimum string equal to the string that's that. So now I'll find the minimum string and the minimum length of the string and the length of that minimum string. So in this case, it's ASD, and the length would be two, um, three, and it would be ASD, which is the minimum string. Then, so minimum string would be ASD, and then I'll remove minimum string from the array because it will be comparing everything in AS, um, in minimum string with the other stuff in the array. So it needs to remove that from the array. So now array is ASEE and ASDES only, and then I'll have out. Which will be the output in such stuff as nothing. And I'll have another variable called terminate, which will start off as false. And I'll have a for loop that goes through a minimum string, and I'll have a variable called append, which will be true. And I'll have another for loop that goes through the rest of the array. So what this these two for loops do, does is has C, which goes through minimum string, and then um, the C from minimum string will be compared. So in this case, it would be A from ASD. I'll be comparing with the um, with the first letter of the other stuff in the array. So that's what it does. So append will start as true, and it'll go through the other part of the array. If um, if, they're the, if they're not the same, so if min string C is not equal to array IC, which is basically just um, which is just the other stuff in the array, and then just C, which is the index of the thing it's looking for in the other part of the array. So if I and C is zero, that means we go to the first thing in the array, which is A S E E. And then because C is zero, that means it's the first index of that, which is A. So um if it's not equal, so that means A is not equal to minimum string A, or um if this A is not equal to minimum string A, that that means that terminate will be equal to true and that append will be equal to false and it'll break out the for loop. So append will be this um the terminate will basically be um if Terminate is true, that means you found something that, so it's no longer the longest common prefix because um, it's not common between all the things anymore because it's something that's different, so it's not common between all the stuff in the array. So that means they'll break out the for loop and they'll print what so far has been the longest common prefix, which is the out. But so what is out and what, and what is it just nothing? Well, um, if append is equal to true, which it's set to be true, but if it's not equal, then it will be set to be false. But if it, but if it is equal, and it just goes out of the full, and without going into this if statement, that means it's still true, so, because nothing has happened to it, so that means they'll append that to out, so that's, um, that's what output is, or out, so then output will be appended, um, so, what, so, um, to summarize, these two for loops, and th these two for loops, um, have, go through every one of, uh, a minimum string, and compare that, um, with, the other ones of the other strings of array and then it'll eventually um go out of minimum string and if it finds something different it'll um terminate and stop adding to output and if it keeps on finding the same things it'll keep on going until minimum string until it's past all minimum string which means it's not common anymore because um the minimum string has um is <laughs> because it's um because you can't have be more common than um, all of the minimum string. In this case, um, the answer is AS. Um, the, the output is AS because, um, and then it will print the output. So in this case, the output would be AS because the longest common thing is AS. So it will look at um, minimum strings A, and it will compare that to this A, which is the same, so it keeps on going, then compares to this A, which is the same, so it keeps on going, and then look at this S, Minimum strings second variable, um, second second part, which is s, which it compares to this s, and then it compares it to this s. Then it sees a d, and it compares it to the, this e, which is different, so it terminates from the for loops. And then it will print the output, which in this case is a s, as shown here.